Well, hello, folks. Welcome back to the channel. This is our FM24 main save with Vissla Krakow. Um, we're into our sixth season with this club. Uh, we got them from the bottom tier of Polish or playable divisions in the uh, in the Polish league. Um, and we are currently just a couple of points away from a couple of games away from winning the uh, uh, the top division. Um, yeah, we have two games to go, but we are just one point ahead of Lech. Um So they're the only ones who can catch us really now. Uh, Legia are are out of it, I think now. Um, so we've got a game against Odra Opiol, who are bottom of the league. And then we're playing home against Zaglaby. We are... I'm not going to predict anything because we've had some weird results, including losing uh, at home, I think it was, against Rush, who are 15th. So anything can potentially happen. Um, I'm just hoping maybe uh, Vissla Plot will do us a bit of a favour against Lech. But Lech have been beating absolutely everyone Got a few injuries going into this. Let's see what happens. Right, we are straight into the first match. As you can see, Delgado is out injured, unfortunately. He has, um, he's going to be out for the rest of the season. Um, he got an injury in the last game. Um, John Jules also got an injury in that game. Uh, but he is kind of back for fitness, but not fully. So... We're starting off with Jose Mira and Tedarase up top. We're having Ardenaz and Mochello left and right. Click and Puerta in the centre. Backline, slight change here. Javi, Ruiz, Rufo and Key. Bobek in goal. So can Tedarase do the business here? We, we're, uh, we're shy of John Jules this time, who has been so good. He can come on if we absolutely need him, but I'm hoping... Tedarase can do the business. Osra Opiol have just won their last game away against Brookbet to Malika, so fingers crossed we can come out with some good stuff here. Right, click with a corner. In it goes, and it's cleared. It's, uh, here he is again. Ooh, into nobody. Here we go again. You feel something might be coming. Nicely done. Oh, it's Tedarase. Is that going to be allowed? I mean, he has been the most hit and miss player he's got such good attributes but we've just really struggled to get him consistently working but look at this play here into Javi loses the ball then gets it back again and Tedarase just turns it in that is the start we wanted Ligia 1-0 up against Hruk Lech and Vizsla Plok are drawing at the minute click let's get goal number two this would be huge if we could Tedarase has played it back to click more seat into click. Oh, it's it's clicked in. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It's an own goal. Zemlo. Odra Opiel could actually survive if they win their these two games. They it's mathematically possible. I think it looks unlikely. But we wow, we got away with that one. And it looks like, yeah, Zemlo just just trying to take it away from our strikers. Uh, scored an own goal. So that is a very, very positive bit of play here. It is very good. We, our team are really, really pushing for this this uh, this win because it's so, so important to us. And it's been the first time. If we can win this, if we win this and um, Plock ended up drawing their games, we'll win. We win the league anyway. So Lek have to win if we win. But here they go. Odra Opiol. They have a the first chance we've seen. Oh, it's into the top corner. It's Shell Mackey. He is one of our previous players. He was uh, he, he he was at the club when we were in the in the second division. But what a brilliant strike this is! And we're back to just one goal behind, which is a slight concern. Vissla Plock are one nil up, folks. Well, Bobek has just palmed it away. Not the best bit of play there. I'm concerned that. We're not quite um, two goals ahead now. This could easily turn round if we don't watch it. It's a lovely ball through. Jose Maria, that should have been a goal, surely. 29 minutes gone. Corner. We've done quite well with these recently. Morsi plays it in. And it's Ardenaz now. Here he goes again. 
It's in through the goalkeeper. 3-1. It is looking, looking positive at the minute. Why are they checking that? Goal awarded. I, I, maybe it was a player in front. Maybe this guy in front of the uh, the goalkeeper. Yeah, no, he was he was on side anyway. But uh, yeah, it might have been a might have been a goal if uh, hadn't gone in. So uh, yeah, we're uh, we're pretty happy with the way things are going so far. And as things stand, we would win the league today. Here's Morsi. Oh, <laughs> should have been a goal. It should have been 4-1. We have been dominant. Absolutely dominant. It's good. So I like to see this. Well, Key doing his job. End of the uh, end of the season. Ardenaz is trying to find the pass. Morsi is heavy. It's 4-1. There we go. 4-1 at half time and that is dominant. The question is, we've looked like we've done our bit, but obviously the plot gonna do do their bit as well. And could we win it this time? It's a brilliant first half. Could not have done any better there. All right, Dadok chips it in, but there's absolutely no one there. Not the best ball out. Tedarase probably could have done better there. Into Bobek. The other game, the the um, the home game we had to, went against this uh, this team, we were two 0 down after about three minutes, and we ended up winning six three. It was a ridiculous game. So I'm certainly not going to count my chickens at the minute. <laughs> Ardenaz click. <laughs> we're going to start counting those chickens soon, though. Fifty five minutes, five one up. Oh, we are looking outstanding. Chips it in. And uh, we've got the ball out here again. Ruch into click. <laughs> He's found the bottom corner as well. Oh, what is this? <laughs> we look we look unplayable at the minute. Well, folks, we're 85 minutes in. We're still 6-1 up. It's been a very quiet second half. But the, the score remains 1-0 uh, against uh, Lech. They are losing. If they don't score two goals in this game and win this 2-1, we win the league. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. We're looking good. They're not going to score two goals now. We've won it. There it is. Took us six seasons. And um, I didn't expect to do it this time after losing the likes of Carlos um, and a bunch of other players called Doba, Christian. Here we go. Here we go. Where, 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 where am I? Oh, there am I am. The fat man there. <laughs> and there it is. We are the winners of the Polish League. An absolute domination against Odra Odispal. I've forgotten their name already. And that is excellent, isn't it? So, well done us. Well done us. Um, we have one game to play against Zaglaby. We'll probably do that behind the scenes and then I'll tell you how we get on and then we'll have a look at the um we'll have a look at this the stats and we've got to make a decision what the heck do we do next because this was our this was our goal so do we do another season of playing the Champions League or or do we do we finish on this one and do something different yeah let's uh, so I'm going to go on I'm going to play this game uh, the next game against Zaglaby and uh, then we will we will come back. I think, yeah, we probably don't care a huge amount uh, going into that game against Zagreb. Can you believe Lech lost that game? And that might mean, I mean, there is a chance they could end up in third, which is something even even more crazy. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, before we go, let's just have a look at what uh, people are happy with. The, the club board are delighted. We have done what we needed to do we're one only one year ahead of schedule so you know we've done done pretty well we've won our 14th league title i thought it was 13 i didn't realize rush had won 14 as well gornick as well so interesting i didn't realize these are these other sides who are um seemingly much much smaller sides now had uh, done quite as much as they had but we've uh 
Yeah, we've got ourselves that victory. Yeah, first time since 2010, so it's good times. Well, there we go. Um, in the end, a really comfortable 3-0 victory against Zaglaby. As you can see, we, we had all the shots. They had virtually nothing, and perhaps 3-0 slightly flattered our opposition. They were pretty nondescript um, and Jose Maria I mean, their goalkeeper in, in all honesty was their best player he made some outstanding saves early on from Jose Maria um, but yeah click scoring a goal uh, Jose Maria and Poeta all with the goals Ardenas plays his final game for us and what a player he's been but let's have a look at the final league table so there we go Visla Krakow does that not look good. Four points ahead of Lech, who finish in second. Legia uh, finish in third on goal difference. They lost to Piast. Uh, so Pogon just about um, coming in th uh, fourth. I think actually they've, Pogon have um, got um, Champions League football or Europa, Europa Conference League football anyway. So it doesn't matter because they won the cup. Oh, God, that feels good. We actually completed a save um, early. Normally, they, they last until forever, but we have completed our main objective well in advance of the end of the C end of FM24. So, uh, yeah, really happy with that. Let's have a quick run through the teams this um, this the, 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 the championship winning team this season. Let's see what where everything happened. So Dario Delgado, 21 goals. So important, but fell off horrifically at the end. But we picked up Jose Maria, who came in, and 12 goals from 11 starts. Yes, 12 sub-appearances as well. Feels pretty good to me. Um, certainly ahead of his XG. 11 goals from Click. He had a bit of a barren patch in the middle, but those 11 goals and 10 assists, so important. Ardenas, one of the players we bought in on loan, 14 assists, 7 goals, that's so important, as are the 10 goals and 9 assists from John Jules, quality player, absolutely quality. Ted Arase, not quite so good, but we've got some lots of goals coming from elsewhere, 5 from Rufo from the corners, he was the, the near post header from corners, um, but we've also, if you also look at things like this, uh, Morcello with seven assists. If we look at the assists, Rubio with seven assists. It all looks very, very good. But look how many assists are all the way through the team. Let's have a look at the average rating. Who's the top man? It was John Jules. <laughs> Only tell him. That's so pleasing. I mean, he is, he is being the the main man really hasn't he's been everywhere it's so important Morcello as well with another really good season and Click coming in third there with Delgado just behind and Jose Maria just behind them um, and Ardenas not far as, uh, away as well so really really solid solid performance let's have a look at um, uh, tackling our, our key men at the back Marcello getting a load of tackles in three per game. I think that's tackles one, isn't it? Key doing a good job there, as is Puerta. Um, not seeing it from the centre back so much. What about dribbles? Marcello, Rubio, Carlos getting those in. Ardenas, the, the people you might expect to. Um, no red cards all season. Pretty good. And our top yellow card man, our defensive midfielder, Gustavo Puerta, who we signed on a permanent deal at the start of this season. So pretty pleased with that. Very, very good year. And he is the uh, the champion of... He is a, a champion of Poland now. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. I'm not sure if all of these players, even these guys down here, got a, a medal. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, they do get they do get a medal, so uh, that is pretty uh, that is pretty good, isn't it? So uh, yeah, there we are. What a wonderful um, victory that is! Let me know in the comments if you want to see another season. If we don't do that, what we'll probably do is uh, substitute this with another save for FM twenty four. But it will it will be maybe something a little bit weird and wonderful in in a 
random country that I wouldn't necessarily go to. We've had uh, South Africa mentioned. I had got another couple of ideas in my mind. So what I might do if people want to see that rather than another season of this, uh, I might uh, put some choices up in the uh, in the, um, the the community tab and you can make your decision there of what you want to see. Anyway, folks, uh, so this may well be the final episode, and if it is, what a fabulous, uh, enjoyable um, episode. Well, what, yeah, what a fabulous, enjoyable save this has been. Really loved the the Polish League. Uh, somewhere I've never managed before. Really great club, uh, Wisla, uh, Wisla Krakow. And really thankful. There's a number of people from Poland who have been following on with this save, been commenting on the... This, on, on the save let me know about all sorts of things going on in in the in the polish uh polish leagues for example uh Wisla krakow this season actually won the cup so they're going to be playing in europe which is pretty cool they're still in div 2 but they're going to be uh, playing in europe next year so pretty much what we almost did in our first season there which is a bit crazy so i'm yeah so thank you to everyone who has commented on this uh, on this um save let us know what you thought about this victory. Was it deserved? Did you think we were going to do it? It felt like we might have bottled this right at the end. But uh, yeah, the boys held together well. Really happy with that. Question for you. Who is your player of the save? I mean, like, For me, I guess this, there's a few people who that could be. Uh, Dario Delgado, certainly one player who's been so important over the last couple of uh, uh, two, three seasons. Um, click. The, uh, the central midfielder, Duda, our other central midfielder who was prior to click, um, and perhaps Carlos as well, um, who has been, who, who was so, so important uh, for a period and then he went off on his merry way. We've had some really good defenders, but maybe it's some, not any of those. Let me know your player of the save and if you want us to continue for another season into the Champions League. Potentially that's the last one, but maybe not. Uh, if you have enjoyed this, hit that like button. Please subscribe and I'll see you for the next one. Either one of these or something very different. See you then. Bye-bye.